Hey everyone, this is Grace, and I am finally coming to share with you the um, entries to my birthday challenge. And what I decided to do is, because I have quite a number of them, instead of overflowing um, your newsfeed with videos, I'm going to try to lump them together, so maybe um, two or three entries per video. So let me go ahead and share with you my first three sets. This one, and I've tried to flip the envelopes um, you know, backwards so that we don't see their home address. This one comes to me from Debbie, and I think Debbie's note, I think I can share. So, um, she wrote, Hi Grace, here's my entry into your house mouse challenge. Hope you like the ACC, ATC I created for you. It was nice to do a little stamping and watercoloring. I don't do it often. So Debbie Vignola. And Debbie actually has a YouTube channel, as does um, Tina. And so I'll make sure to link those channels down below. I don't know if Peg, who is the third entry here, has one. But if she does, I will definitely link that down below as well. So um, Debbie is... I think her style is very vintage and um, lace. I think shabby chic. And she does a lot of work with lacing. And so I love these little lace things that she always seems to incorporate into things. So this is a little um, tag that she created. Hold on. All right. So obviously, because of time constraints and um, you know memory on my camera and all that, I've been using my cell phone again. But... Is this not beautiful? And then this was the ATC, and I love this. It's so pretty, Debbie. So she stamped out here, no regrets, and then this little butterfly um, has been cut out and placed. And then can you see that little bit of a um, glaze on the stem of the butterfly, too? And then she watercolored all of this. And on the eyes of the little bunnies, she put a little bit of glaze, too. So pretty. And she titled this. I think this is okay to share. Look at the back. Very impressive, Debbie. Artist trading card. She titled it No Regrets, June 7th, 19... Oh, not 19. <laughs> oh, dear. You can tell I was born in the 1900s, huh? Um, 2018, number one, and then Debbie Vignola. So pretty. Thank you so much, Debbie. With these ATC cards, I don't know if you guys knew this, but um, I have a little binder, um, and I just slipped those in. So um, once I find out when your birthday is, I kind of go through the months. Like if this is, um, not that she, she created in June, but say Debbie's birthday happens to be in, oh, drats, I forgot. Debbie, when was your birthday? I could have sworn you did a birthday recently, huh? Anyways, I think it's earlier in the year. So then I would find her um, month and then slip it inside. So anyway, this is from Tina Massey. And I believe this is the stamp that I got her. So I'm so glad you were able to use it. And um, incidentally, I think this is the stamp I got Tina for her birthday. So, oh, I love it. Tina, this is so cute. Gouda cheese. And I believe this is Mud Pie with his little notch in his ear. So cute. Let me see if her inside of the card is something. I, I think I can show the actually inside of her card. Yep. She wrote here, Grace, wishing you a bright and happy birthday. Or she stamped and then she wrote, um, hugs, Tina. Now, um, I'm not going to show the back of her ATC, but is this not adorable? And again, you guys can see she glazed the popcorn and oh, so pretty. I love these little mice. You guys, thank you so much for answering my birthday challenge call. Um, I am, my college students are going to think I'm crazy because these birthday cards actually are going to go into my office. <laughs> and then Tina sent me a few goodies. Um, these rose stickers. So pretty. You know, the funny thing is I love the way roses look. I just don't like the way they smell. Is anyone else like that? Um, and then, well, oh, these are really pretty. I love when there's anything and then, you know, music sheet. So thank you so much, Tina. Um, so nice of you. So um, Tina sent birthday card and um, ATC. And these birthday cards, whether they're written on or blank, I plan on not using. I, I plan on keeping them. You guys know. These are cards that you guys sent for me. So... 
All right, now this one is from Peggy, and I believe, hold on, yep, this is from the United States, and of course, because look, there is Muzzy, I believe this is Muzzy, and how cute is that? I love your ETC, and I think I could share this, this is so sweet, Peg um, wrote, Grace, thank you for all the inspiration you give us to craft and spread kindness. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. You inspired me to collect house mouse stamps and use them. That's actually very important that we use them, huh? <laughs> because for me, I just, if I'm not careful, I'll just collect them and not use them. And she wrote, happy birthday, Peg S. P.S. This is my first ATC. This is amazing for your first ATC. Oh, my goodness. Do you guys see the dim dimensions? And I love this. She put stickles on there. So cute. So perfect for July. So thank you so much, Peg. And then she wrote, or she stamped out, love to see you smile. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is kind of like, a, um, is it a denim fabric? Or it looks like it's kind of a denim ribbon. But, oh, so cute. He looks so carefree and just enjoying the wind and so pretty. So... She left this one blank for me to use, but as I mentioned, Peg, I am not going to be using this. This will be all right here on the bottom, you know, from Peg, I think. No, I don't need to because she wrote this card was handmade by Peg S. And then this will just go on in my wall of house mouse. So I am, I know. One of the reasons why I asked for house mouse related things, guys, like birthday cards, was because I want to have a wall that is my wall of house mouse. <laughs> you guys didn't know that, huh? <laughs> anyway, the ATCs go into my ATC binder and then the cards are going to go into um, a wall of house mouse. So you guys will see and just, you know, I'll try to have it so that you guys can see what my wall of house mouse looks like. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much, Debbie, Tina, and Peg. I really appreciate certainly the time and effort you've put into this and, of course, your talent. This is adorable, and I feel very blessed that you guys took the time to do this. So um, thank you very much, and I will make sure to give Debbie... Um, an entry for her ATC, Tina for card and um, ATC, and then Peg for card and ATC. So thank you, everyone. I hope you get a chance to check out Debbie and Tina's channel. I'm going to try to um, research a little bit and see if Peg has a video. But if Peg doesn't do ch um, videos or I can't find it, and Peg, you do have a YouTube channel, please let me know so that I can link it down below. And then, you know, people can go and check you out. And certainly I can check you out because I don't recall seeing videos from your channel so anyway take care everyone thank you very much make sure you thumbs up and subscribe and i will be back with more entries to the house mouse birthday challenge because yep i have a lot to film you guys are awesome for sending in so many entries so all right take care everyone bye